hey there in this course i will be talking about zoning the concepts of zoning and after that very quickly we will be doing one demonstration using brocket gui okay let's get started so these are some abstract boxes on my screen think the top one as a host okay let me call it host one and the middle one let me call it send switch one and the bottom one let me call it controller one okay basically controller one is from a storage unit sw1 is your send switch for that we are we are talking about the zoning and everything because this is my main part over here and i have a host every host and of course the storage ports will be having wwn numbers what is wwn number that is worldwide number a uh, fc port will be having one wwn which will be unique globally so i can directly connect a fc cable from controller to host and i can present a logical unit number or lan to the host that that's different story but if you have more hosts than your available storage ports you will definitely need a switch and that is sand switch and if i now connect my host to sand switch and my controller storage controller to sand switch that doesn't mean they talk to each other default by default you need to make a contract like a marriage contract so that they can stay together okay that is called a zone now there can be multiple hosts and multiple storages that can get connected okay, there can be one zone for this one maybe let me call the host one as wwn1 the storage controller one first port let me call it wwn2 this is wwn3 and for example this is wwn4 okay now i can create a zone between wwn4 and wwn2 this host can talk to storage wwn2 via let me call this one as zone 2 and this one as zone 1 okay so this is the contract which i was saying about is zone now i can have n number of zones maybe 1 2 3 10 whatever number you prefer depends on your hosts and connectivity architecture there will be one thing called zone set what is zone set basically collection of all zones which is I, i'll i can say it's a configuration okay a set of configurations or zones which is called zone set let me move over little now i have wwn1 wwn2 okay but think of a scenario you have to remember a guy by his passport number is it, is it possible it's very difficult correct but if that is called john then it's easy to remember correct someone someone's name is john it's easy to remember than an id number so similarly wwn is a complex number and it's not easy to remember now i can make similar thing which is called aliases alias is a name given on top of a wwn number once you connect a switch uh, to any host or any controller storage port you will get the wwn in the console itself okay you can make create an alias from that similarly i can have another aliases over there maybe a2 then i can add these two wwns or aliases but aliases are better choice because it's easy to remember i can add those aliases in the zone so there can be other zones also with other aliases added to it then i can have a zone set add all those zones required to be activated then once those zones are added i can save the configuration then activate it okay so this is your basic theory you have wwn you create an alias you add those in a zone so that they will be talking to each other then you add those zones in zone set and make it active so that all the configurations which you have done gets reflected in the active configuration of the switch okay now let's 
move back to our GUI console and check all those things in action. To launch your switch console, type in IP address of your switch, management IP address in any browser which supports Java. You need to have Java runtime on your machine. Once you put your IP address, hit enter, you will get a prompt something like this at, as it is trying to launch my Java console. Click on run after accepting the prompt. You will get a prompt to put your username and password. You should log in with your admin privileged account. Once you click on OK, OK, it can give you one details. You can click on OK. It will load up your screen. Wait up a little. Now my screen is loaded. In that screen, go to configure then zone admin configure zone admin to launch the new window for configuring all zone i am here logged in so first window is alias last one is your zone set or zone config at a time one will be active but you can create multiple in alias click on new alias to create a alias an alias for any host so now i am creating a test host click on ok once you put in name expand the wwns scroll down and choose your correct wwn number from the lists for me i am expanding the wwn selecting that click on the arrow button in the middle once it is added yeah of course you can rename it actually i have added a storage port instead of a host port now i need to rename it properly so let me put the correct name hitachi port 4a click ok so my storage port is ready now i need to create another alias for the host click on new alias again now put in your name whichever nomenclature you follow for your host click ok select your wwn from the left side list click on add button or the arrow button of course there is another bot button called add other if you do not see that listing in the left side you can manually type as always now i am into zone i have to put those two aliases created in a new zone so i'll click on new zone give a proper name to that i can say tests zone click ok choose those newly created aliases so for me it should be host hba1 test host another should be hitachi port 4a so I have selected the first one, adding it, selecting the second one, again adding it. Now I will go to zone config as my config is already selected where I want to add those. Left side all the created zones will show up whether it is added or not. Right side window all the added zones in the configuration. I need to find that zone which is test zone. It will so all the details over there if you expand it click on the add button to add that zone click on save config to save the configuration click yes once you click yes it will start committing your process it takes a little bit of time few seconds once it is saved yeah as you see now it is saved once it is saved you can go to enable config okay to enable your newly added zones unless and until it will not be effective once you click on enable config it will give you another prompt you can click on yes to make it active so that's all about zoning you create an alias add the wwns add those aliases in a zone by creating a new zone then you add those zones in a zone set or zone config then save it 
after that you have to enable it that's all thanks for watching